Hello everyone. Today we will learn how to find mean, median, mode and range for the sets of the data. If you will like the video, do not forget to like, subscribe, share and comment. In this question, we have to find out what is the value for the mean. And to calculate the value of the mean, we have to use the formula which says mean is equals to sum of values divided by number of values. So number of values is equals to, we have to count how many total values are given in the data. So one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. So number of values, that means N is equals to seven. So we will find out the mean. We'll write down mean is equals to 1.4 plus 2.8 plus 2.4 plus 2.5 plus 2.8 plus 3.1 plus 1.1 divided by 7. So when you will add all these values together, you will get your answer equals to 16.1 divided by 7. And when you will divide it with 7, you will get your answer equals to 2.3. So the mean for this particular set of data is equals to 2.3. Similarly, we will do the same for the next question. We'll find out how many total number of values are there. So if you will count, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So there are total 10 number of values. In this set of data, they have given you a 0. So we will count that 0 as a value. So total values are 10. So we'll find out here mean. So we'll write down here mean is equals to 12 plus 8 plus 14 plus 5 plus 1 plus 3 plus 0 plus 8 plus 10 plus 11 divided by 10. So when you will add all these values together, you will get your answer equals to 72 over 10, which is equals to 7.2. So the mean for this set of data is equals to 7.2. Now we will solve how to calculate the median for the following set of data. So here I have taken two different data. If you will see the first data, there are total one, two, three, four, five, six, seven values. And if you will see the next data, it is having one, two, three, four, five, six number of values. So to calculate the median, if you have a odd set of values and even set of values, we have the different formulas to calculate the median. So if the data is having an even set of values, so the formula is median, is equals to n by 2 term plus n by 2 plus 1 th term divided by 2. I'll explain it to you. Then if we have a odd set of values, so the formula for the median is, is equals to n plus 1 by 2 th term. Now, to use this formula, first we have to arrange the set of values in the ascending order. So if I will arrange them in the ascending order, 1, 3, 6, 7, 8, 9, and 9. Now in this, we have two values of 9. So if the values are multiple times, you have to write down those multiple times when you are arranging them in the order. Now, median is equals to, so since the value of n is 7, we'll write down here 7 plus 1 over 2th term. So when you will solve it, you will get 8 by 2th term, which means 4th term. So which one is the 4th term in the data? First, second, third, fourth. So that means the median is equals to 7. Similarly, we will arrange the second data in the ascending order. 39, 53, 124, 155, 180, 230. Now we will use the formula median is equals to the value of n is 6. We'll write down here 6 by 2 at term plus 6 by 2 plus 1 at term divided by 2. So this means third term. Plus, if you will solve this, 6 by 2 means 3. 3 plus 1 is 4. So, fourth term 
divided by 2. So we have to see here which one is the third term here. So third term is 124 and fourth term is 155. So we'll write down here is equals to 124 plus 155 divided by 2 which is equals to 279 divided by 2 and when you will solve it you will get your answer equals to 139.5. So this is how you can calculate the median for the set of values. Now we have to find out what is the value for the range and to calculate the value for the range the formula is equals to highest value minus lowest value and for that first we have to arrange the values in the order ascending order 1.5 comma 4.1 comma 6.2 7.3 8.8 so you can see this value is the lowest value and this value is the highest value. So what will be the range? Range will be the difference of these two values 8.8 .8 minus 1.5 which is equals to 7.3. Similarly, I have taken the another set of data which is having a negative and the positive value. So we will arrange them in the order. So minus 15 is the smallest value, then minus 10, then minus 9, then minus 8, then minus 7, then minus 6, then minus 3, and then 8. So now if I have to find out what is the value for range, range will be equals to minus 15 is the smallest value and 8 is the highest value. So I'll do 8 minus minus 15. This is very important. So 8 plus 15 is equals to 23. So that is the range for this particular set of data. Here I have written minus 15 first because the negative numbers having the higher value are smaller and the negative number like minus 3 is having a value which is smaller but it is biggest. The question is we have to find out what is the mode for this set of data. So the mode is always a number which is repeating maximum number of times in the data. For example, in the first set of data, you can see 5 is repeating twice, 2 times, 7 is repeating 3 times, 8 is repeating 2 times and 9 is repeating 1 time. So which number is repeating maximum number of times? It is 7. So what is the mode for this data? Mode is equals to 7. Similarly, if you will see this particular question, so 8 we have 2 times, 1, 2, 3, 3 we are having 3 times and the rest of the numbers are having only 1 time. So what is the mode? Mode is equals to 3 because 3 is repeating in the data maximum number of times. It can be a possibility that in a data you have more than one mode. For example, if I add a, another 8 here, so 8 is also 3 times. So that means the mode for this new data will be equals to 3, 8.